But what I let me just fix this what, real quick. What I'm curious is, you know, I, I got uh -huh. beautiful daughters too. Yeah. And I know we want them to know the truth, but mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think it's good for them to see those pictures. You know, our children. Well, maybe their children will grow up and not be like their parents, evil and wicked and apathetic no, towards the 70,000 babies. Well, please don't interrupt me. I listen to you. Hopefully their children won't grow up to be apathetic like their parents who ignore and are apathetic towards the 70,000 babies that are being boarded every day. And not only that, but there's 13,000 kids in foster care waiting to be adopted right so now. Ask your question. What are you doing about it? Well, I'm exposing the evil. I've adopted six foster kids right. from the state of Texas, and I'm calling the church to repent. Do you think this helps? It definitely helps. A lot of girls have been lied to, never talked to from their parents. And uh, yeah, their parents don't talk to them about this. You know who talks to them about it? The high school kids. I think, well, the high schools. Know, ser seriously, I, I appreciate your passion and I respect that and being radical. I mean, John the Baptist was radical, uh -huh. the prophets were radical. But I think also it's a good idea to ask for wisdom because I, I've, I've learned asked for in, wisdom. I've learned in business. Why are you I've judging been, me that I'm I am not, not asking for wisdom? You. No, I'm not judging you. I'm well, then why would you say that? I'm just saying that. You're saying I haven't asked for wisdom? Are, what would be the most effective right. way to Thank make you. A, to make a difference? Right. But this right here isn't making a difference. How do you know? I bet you do absolutely nothing to make abortion illegal in Texas, but you're willing to to tell somebody well, that this method isn't effective. I Going to a to good man's guys, house. You know what, if you guys were standing out in front of an abortion clinic. Can we do that? Uh, I would be there by your side. Uh, right. With these pictures. We stand there at the abortion clinics, all right? Okay, let, so you're not there by our sides. Oh, Besides, it has nothing to do with us. I'm you should, go, you I'm should. I'm happy to go and visit and stand in front of an abortion clinic. What I'm not in agreement uh, with is standing in front of a church. All right, let's do it, give you, me your you information. The thing is, you don't know, sure, you don't know all these people. You right. Don't, you don't know I know the fruit of the them. land, that the church is apathetic, that what they do is they have these country clubs well, that they go not, and enjoy. Not everyone. If you, not everyone. I would, I would encourage you, you know what, if, if you were called the pastor of the church uh -huh. and, and ask him to sit down and have, have lunch with you and ask him, what is our church doing? You know that we have a meeting here every every week reaching mm -hmm. out to two different ministries. One reaches out to the young girls who are considering abortion. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what we do. Uh -huh. And and there's a tremendous outreach. There's at least 12, 15 young girls that meet up here on a weekly basis. Then aside from that, there's a separate ministry that reaches out to girls who have had abortions, who are broken, mm -hmm. they're traumatized, they're mm -hmm. going through hell and condemnation, mm -hmm. and they need to understand also that Jesus loves them. Absolutely. He loves them, and they need redemption just as much as we do. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm just, I'm just letting you know, a lot of times, it's, it's easy for us to judge and point the finger, mm -hmm. but, and I understand what you mean about the body of Christ in general the church in general every church right. all men have sinned but to point the finger at a, a specific church or a specific group of people when you don't know them so where do you now, go for help do you go to a good man's house or do you go to an evil man's house how many people are out at the abortion clinic every day how many Christians now, there's Catholics know. out there I don't know yeah there's none yeah there's none I know them all because yeah. it's me and him and one other lady yeah. Jessica. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's it, you know, it is sad. Christians spend more time watching football than they do trying to end. You're right. You know, then then because these babies they're being led to slaughter, and like, we know, you know where and we know how. My heart, my heart breaks for that, brother. But let me tell you something. There there were two types of prophets, I believe, in in the Old Testament and the New in our times. Mm -hmm. You've heard the the terminology type A personality people. Mm -hmm. That's a leader, director, mm -hmm. like the uh, like that. There was a movie, The Boiler Room, right? Yeah. And this guy's like, yeah. come in here, get right. a job. Well, I've got my serious sake. Get the fuck out of here. This is how these, there's that personality where it's harsh and, and yeah. success happens from there. But there were other prophets in the Bible that was like Jeremiah. Mm -hmm. And he was known as a weeping prophet. Mm -hmm. He had a broken heart. Yeah. John the Baptist was out there. Yeah, repent. Like, so like which one this. am I? But what you have, <laughs> I know which your one heart. I? I believe your heart uh -huh. is weeping and broken. Okay. But on the outside, what's coming out is the repent of John the Baptist. And all I'm saying is that uh, you know, I'm standing right here and I, I see these signs right. and my heart is broken. Right. Because it, it makes you it sad. Broken, That's right? heartbreaking. It should be broken. That's heartbreaking. Uh -huh. That's the truth. That's the Jesus. 70,000 times he a day in this. Texas. Right. We're over, there are more babies have been killed to date than in all the wars that we've had. 
more every than year. the Holocaust. We've every year, the 7 more million than Jews. Every year, right? We've surpassed okay. the seven million Jews. Yeah, we have. It's God's over sixty own, million. God's own children, right? The mm -hmm. Jews. Yeah. And we have done that. David Wilkerson, uh, who was a great prophet from New York, and and he said back in the '80s, he said, if God does not bring severe judgment on this nation. Right. For the sin of abortion alone, what we're doing, he'd have to raise up Sodom and Gomorrah and apologize. Right. That's pretty intense, yeah. but it's it's true. But all, all I'm saying is, like, as so, as a father, so have you repented father, of your apathy? Has all this wisdom and knowledge been bestowed to I you? Preach, and I, I preach wherever I go. And we don't want to just be, be speakers influence. of the word. Of we want to be doers of the word, not just hearers right. of the word. Yeah, I agree. But where's the doers? I we don't agree. need any more preachers. You know, There's Texas has sure. over seventy thousand preachers. You know how many ministries? Let me let me tell you a little bit more about our church. Have have lunch with the pastor. Well, you know how many ministries? Yeah, but we what have about this? Out, Who's the voice for these kids? I don't know. Maybe it could be you. Well, right now it is me because you're saying, well, look at all these other religious things that we do. Look at all these religious services well, that we provide. Oh, What's yes. Amos 5 say? It said, put away your instruments. Put away your prayers. I, I, I detest sure. your festivals, yeah. you know? know? And you know why? Because he told us he wants us to feed the hungry, to set free those who are captive. to And there's child sacrifice speak. in the land. Sure, and they didn't is. oppose it. They didn't do anything yeah. about it. Yeah. So what God says, look. Make things right. Think, no, I'm just being a Christian. Outreach. I'm just saying, repent of your apathy. Once you repent of your apathy that, you, that you've lived the last 40 years in a land which murders babies and you've done nothing about it, all right? I mean, you've preached. But I don't, but but, I don't look at this. I don't look at any of this and feel condemnation or guilt or shame. Have you read the Bible all throughout the Bible where there's child yeah. sacrifice and godly men didn't do anything yeah. about it? It's what horrible. happens to that land? Right. The, and, You're the gatekeeper. And, You're one uh, of the religious leaders of the land. Benjamin Franklin said the only way for evil to triumph is for good man to stand by. Right. And uh, you know, I every agree. time you agree with me, but excuse your behavior, that's condemnation heaped on you. Well, you're saying, I don't feel any condemnation for this. I don't feel any responsibility for this, right? No, I didn't say responsibility. Well, well condemnation. condemnation, right. So you're not doing anything. If people I'm were raped, if someone was raping a girl on the side of the road right here, you would say, well, I'm not responsible it for this. Happen. Not in front of me, it wouldn't. Well, just because this happens a few miles from you means that you don't have to do anything about it? It's happening, but... If, you well, know well, where, when, and how it's happening. What can I do to change it? Repent Stop of your it. apathy. God will give you some things to do. In fact, you could read the Bible, and okay. it says, "It says, okay. hold back Lord, those being I've, led." I've repented. I repent on, the, on a regular basis. Well, repent of your yeah. apathy that seventy thousand kids are being murdered every year in your state, okay. and you and you don't do anything about it. All right, and then God will give you things to do. And the Bible tells you know that. Do you know that the reason look, why we give tithes and offerings to the church is to support the work of the ministry? Do you uh -huh. know that there's men who are king, kings and priests? There mm. are men who have wealth and riches, and right. they might not be out doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. but they do write big checks to people who are doing what you're doing. Yeah, and, they support and you know. It. Do you judge them? Yeah. Or are they, are they financing some- How many more churches do we need done? in Texas? There's 30,000 right now. I think we need more churches, man. I think we yeah. need more people that- Laborers. Do the truth. Right. No more preachers. We don't need any more preachers. No, we need people <laughs> who love people like Jesus Christ. Right. And the right. love of Christ, compels us. I believe that the love of Christ and demonstrating his love is much more effective than judgment. Right, right. You get in more mercy, people from honey mercy, than uh, vinegar, vinegar, right? You know, well, you tell the truth. Gandhi you know, said, I look, I, I got some more good ones. Gandhi yeah. said that hate the sin, but love the sinner. No, just, wait, I'm wait, just wait. Saying, Let's do some other ones like, wait, I know you're killing your baby and Jesus is love. He'll forgive you. It's okay. Right. I you know? disagree with that. So, you know what the well, you agree is? with all the others. No, here's, here's what I, I was a professional heathen. I knew I got paid for all kinds of sin that I did for whether it's dealing drugs. And you or still sin, right? Whatever. And I fail. I fall short. You still sin? Short, but I don't live a lifestyle of sin. Do you still sin? I don't. You don't I sin? I don't live a lifestyle of sin. But do you still sin? I don't. I make mistakes. I fall short. So a mistake is not a sin. But I don't practice. <laughs> so you don't, are you a scholar? I'm not perfect. Are you a not scholar? No. Okay. All right. I was just I'm checking because you seem pretty prideful. I'm not. I don't I'm sin. I'm a child of God. I don't sin. Do you live a I lifestyle call it, of sin? No, I don't live a lifestyle of sin, sin, but I still sin. Do you practice sin? No, I don't practice don't sin, practice. but I still sin. Do you willfully go out and sin? Every single man who sins willfully does it. Do the Holy Spirit will tap you on the shoulder and say, that's wrong, don't do Did it. And, and they choose and say, to do it. Sin? No, no, but I, you know what? I may sin so today. I'm walking, so if I'm walking and I pay attention to where I'm going, uh -huh. I'm not going to trip or fall. 
There's but, not. There's but a, if I'm not looking where look, I'm going, that's not sin. And I all right? trip. That's not sin. And I How fall. you doing, sir? Hey, good. How hey, are you? Good. It's a mistake. You, you know, Carl. No. Yeah. Um, 